Thank you for joining us at Friendship Christian Church for our communion service, uh, partaking of the Lord's Supper. Even though we are doing it virtually, it has not lost its meaning. It uh, does mean that we are in communion with our Lord and Savior. Want to make sure that you have something to eat, something to drink. If you do not have unleavened bread, if you do not have the fruit of the vine, that is okay. God will take care of it. He will transfigure those elements to be what they need to be. Before we partake, however, we need to make sure that we have our relationship set right. That is with ourselves, with others, and with Jesus Christ before we partake. I have before me an element of uh, bread, and let us now pray. Father, we ask that you transconfigure this element to be the substance that it should be. The body of Jesus Christ, the body of the innocent, given on the cross for the guilty, the body that took on the sins of the world and put it to death. Father, we ask your blessings on this bread in Jesus' name. Amen. I have before me a cup, a cup containing the fruit of the vine. Let us pray. Father, we ask your blessings on this cup. We pray that you transconfigure its contents to be the substance that it needs to be, the fruit of the vine, the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of the innocent given for the guilty, the blood that washed away the sins of the guilty, the blood that washed away the sins of the world, the blood that makes us whole and righteous before God, the blood that covers our sin before the throne, the blood that allows us to enter into heaven for all eternity. Father, we ask your blessings on this cup in Jesus' name. Amen. This concludes our uh, communion service here at Friendship Christian Church. I do hope that you will take this time and have a time of meditation after we depart. Just think of what God has done for you here on this earth and that he has prepared a place for you in heaven so that when you depart this earth, you can get to heaven. You can be in paradise for all eternity. And it's all made possible by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Thank you and may you go in peace.